most important topic in this video that is the nitrogen cycle so nitrogen cycle has got different names they say new tank syndrome uh, new tank cycling uh, nitrogen cycle so a lot of people uh, mistake it as what what is cycling why do we need to ride a cycle uh, when you buy a fish tank i mean i have heard all of these questions in my uh, comments and all of that so what is a nitrogen cycle okay so uh, basically uh, in the initial part of this video i told you what happens when you put in a fish and all of that so uh, the process of establishing an aquarium takes about 30 to 45 days from the day you start your filter for the first time right so uh, what is the cycle so that is the time in naturally it takes for beneficial bacteria or rather in normal terms good bacteria to form in your filter or inside your aquarium so that bacteria basically uh, you know eats up the harmful things like ammonia and nitrate breaks them down into nitrate okay so ammonia and nitrite are the most harmful things for any fish that is very very dangerous so what is the whole process okay so once you get a fish tank from your aquarium shop or wherever you're buying it uh, a lot of people sell you the fish tank with the fishes never do that please don't do that okay because whatever filtration you have whatever you have it needs to be established otherwise your fishes cannot handle the ammonia spike which is going to happen in the tank within a couple of days because that is something which is definitely going to happen in your fish tank so that is why you would have heard so many people saying that you know i bought a fish tank everything was fine within one week everything started dying because that is the time it takes for the ammonia to build up and when ammonia is building up and if the beneficial bacteria is not established in your filter it cannot break it down right so that is why we say you need to wait for at least 30 to 45 days which is a very difficult thing a lot of people say are yaar we bought the fish tank there's no fishes but of course you need to wait it's, it's it's this hobby you need to have a little bit of patience it's very very important in the hobby otherwise you're definitely going to end up uh, killing your fishes or hurting your fishes or putting them into a very bad uh, scenario where uh, they will not be able to handle it let it be any fish i'm not talking about big or small any fish for that matter filter establishment is very very important so like i said earlier first thing what happens in a fish tank is uh, when you add uh, fishes is fishes uh, what do they do they eat and they poop they eat they poop there is obviously some amount of uh, fish food which is left over uh, there is definitely going to be fish waste which is naturally going to come in so what does these two things create they create this harmful thing called ammonia which is very 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 harmful for fishes okay ammonia free hair dyes we get hair dyes ammonia free why because ammonia used to burn right so it is very harmful even if it's harmful for us equally harmful for fishes so what uh, does so what do we need to do okay so when you put start your fish tank fill in the water set up your decorations on your filter and let it run without any fishes in it that is why it's called fishless cycle also cycling a fish tank with only the equipment no fishes just the equipment that is what is a fishless cycle so one thing you can do is now for the beneficial bacteria to form in your spawns or in your media whatever media whatever you guys saw earlier whatever you're going to use uh, it needs ammonia right so beneficial bacteria's food or khana is ammonia right so what is how do we give ammonia without fishes any guesses yeah <laughs> very simple add some fish food yeah add some fish food let it be there in the tank for a day or two that will definitely cause ammonia so with that you are boosting the process of the beneficial bacteria forming because beneficial bacteria also needs food they feed on ammonia okay and uh, that is the basic fund up so simple terms put some fish food let it be there for a couple of days remove that add some more so this whole process without fishes helps in building your beneficial bacteria or good bacteria colony in your fish tank okay so that is one second part is once ammonia is eaten up it gives out nitrite okay which is also very very harmful for fishes so one section is done 
Second is again this. There's another uh, you know next level of beneficial bacteria which breaks down nitrite also. So first ammonia breaks down to nitrite, and nitrite again is broken down to nitrate. Okay. So nitrate is a level uh, is still manageable for your fishes. Ammonia and nitrite very very dangerous. So uh, basically the beneficial bacteria needs to be established to eat up all of this. So depending on your tank size that is why we say we need to add that much of media or that much of spawns so that the beneficial bacteria colony is built accordingly so the time your fishes come in obviously the load of ammonia or the waste or and the fish food everything is going to be more because you have so many fishes right so your entire filtration has to be established for that so that is why we give it this time but again just putting the fish tank uh, just keeping the fish tank empty and just running the filter is not going to help you need to add some food, you need to give some food for the beneficial bacteria, right? So that is when it's going to uh, start building a thing. Of course, there are a lot of products which like Seacamp uh, Stability, you have API Quick Start, you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Ocean Free, you have uh, some uh, thing which is a concentrated solution for beneficial bacteria, which they say you can add it into your tank and which will help the cycle or the beneficial bacteria formation faster in your tank but again they say you know in the bottle will be very clearly written that you can add and add the fish immediately never do that because like i said it's a natural process and beneficial bacteria will take time for it to establish so i would say even if you're using all these uh, quick start or whatever products you need to give it still at least 30 days i would personally say 30 days because only then your entire tank is Established or your filter or your whatever is completely established. One more quick way is if you have multiple tanks like what I have here, you can take media or sponge filter from an established aquarium and put it into that, into your new tank. So that way the beneficial bacteria colony has come into your new tank and the process is started. And so it will start building faster and your process is faster. So it's not like a completely fresh thing. So these are the three things I would feel. There are a lot of other people, they say, you know, uh, uh, add ammonia directly. I don't know how to do all of that. I've never tried it. And I don't think I, you should also try it because we don't know how much to add. And excess of anything is bad. So basically, there is no quick method. It is all, always a natural process. So let it give, give, give it time. And definitely your tank will get established. To check this, you need to have your, uh, you need to have a test kit. If you don't have a test kit, go to a shop, uh, take a little proportion of your water uh, and uh, after about 20-25 days, you can actually go out to your uh, uh, you know, nearby fish store who's got a test kit and test for ammonia. Ammonia and nitrate, nit sorry, ammonia and nitrite has to be zero. Nitrate levels can go up to 20 to 30 ppm, it's still okay. And nitrate levels are generally controlled by good water changes. Yeah and uh, also people add some plants uh, plants also absorb a lot of nitrate so that way is the nitrate is still handleable uh, by fishes so too much of nitrate is also bad so nitrogen cycle why is it called nitrogen cycle so the nitrate uh, is it breaking down all of these two chemicals into nitrate okay so that is why the thing so the entire process takes time so that is why we need to cycle your fish tank for at least 30 to 45 days or 40 days uh, depending on the size of your tank and only then add fishes don't add fishes before that otherwise you're going to cause them a lot of harm and they will have a lot of issues and then you'll be behind them just doing treatments and buying medicines and all of that and it's a never never ending process uh yeah <laughs> so i wouldn't ask you to get into that it's kind of a little crazy yeah and yeah a lot of people have told me in some comments uh uh if I take water from an established tank and put it into, uh, uh, you know, the new tank, will it help? No, it will not help. Beneficial bacteria needs a surface, okay? It grows on a surface. It grows on spawns, it grows on your decoration, it grows on your glass, it grows on stones, it grows on your uh, filtration media, uh, all of that. It will not, it will not be simply moving around in your water, right? So, taking water from here and putting it into a new tank is not going to help. You take the media from this, take the sponge from this tank and then put it, it will work. Not the water. Water will not 
work. So you need to have beneficial bacteria needs a surface for it to multiply and grow and all of that, right? So you can take filtration or spawns from a tank and put it into another tank. If this tank is completely okay and there's no uh, disease or anything, you can do that. Then it's fine. Don't uh, you know take a uh, sponge or a media which with, from an infected tank and then you're going to infect this tank also. So be careful about that. But water doesn't carry beneficial bacteria, right? So a lot of people have told you know in a canister filter you get UV filter. I mean UV light, so it kills all the bacteria. UV is in a separate section. So the water is passing through the UV light and coming out. It is not touching the media, right? So water doesn't carry beneficial bacteria. So beneficial bacteria is on the media and the spawns and other other elements in your tank. It is not on. Uh, it's not in the water. Yeah. So that is something. I mean, a lot of people have asked me. I've answered. I just thought it just came into my mind. I thought I should add it. Yeah. I think most of it I've covered uh, with regards to the nitrogen cycle. Anyway, this is uh, completely my take. If there's anything I missed out, uh, do leave it in the comments. Yeah.